Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading for May 29th to June 3rd. My name is Catherine and this is Oracle Intuitions. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing an energy reading for the mind, heart, environment, as well as receive a message from spirit. This is going to be for all Sagittarius placements, so Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as Cross Watchers, if you wish to watch. Please remember that these are general readings and they may not resonate with everyone, as we are all beautiful individuals. However, if they do resonate, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please click like on the video, as it really does help my channel to grow, but also it is a nice uh, karmic exchange. So let's get into it. Let's see what's happening. Oh, also, sorry, I did forget to uh, mention if you would like a more in-depth reading for relationships you can click on the link that should be appearing fairly quickly above here um, and this is uh, their feelings for you and this was for May 22nd to the 29th so you can go and watch that video also, if you would like a personal reading, please contact me at oracleintuitions.com. And this is where you will receive a one-on-one -on -one video reading with me. All you have to do is click on the link and it will provide you a day in which you want to um, uh, book a reading. All right, so let's get into it. Let's see what's happening. We're going to start off with the energy of the mind. All right, and this is, may, this is going to be things that we may be focusing in on or things within our external environment that we are, you know, having to place focus on or needing to place focus on. So our first energy is coming in, that's home. We have heal the ouch. And we also have rock bottom. Wow, okay. So Sagittarius says you may have gone through something pretty drastic here, especially when it talks about that rock bottom. Okay, this could be, you know, having to do with um, within yourself. Now we, we have this heal the ouch. So I kind of feel like this is something externally. All right. And again, you know, just take it as it resonates, but it does feel like something externally. Usually when it's heal the ouch, it means, you know, something external creating something, some, you know, some sort of pain or some sort of injury, I guess, you know, and this could be, you know, physical, mental, or emotional pain, but we have that rock bottom. So what I'm getting here is that for some of you, there may have been some sort of energy or something, some sort of situation that really, really brought you to that place of that rock bottom. Now, this doesn't need to be current energy. Okay, you may be going through the healing because it does talk about that healing. This could be some sort of past energy, which really helped you to rise up above. Okay, it's like, I realized I hit rock bottom. I realized like, you know, maybe this was the end of the relationship. Maybe this was the, I kind of get this energy of the final, you know, the final knife in the back or the final um, you know, event or the final thing that just made me realize like something, you know, was done. I hit rock bottom with it. Maybe again, the end of the relationship, maybe the end of work, you know, for some of you. Okay. Maybe you decided to leave a job. You know, it, it just feels like something external may have possibly happened. Now we have this home card. So what I'm getting is that you're focusing in on your own home environment. Now this doesn't need to be an actual, you know, home. It can feel or it can be feeling like home within yourself, again, doing the healing energy that is needed. So we do have this uh, two of pentacles coming through. There could be, you know, some sort of uh, situation that you may be juggling. Maybe perhaps, you know, you're, you're kind of making a decision about where it is that you want to go. We have that three of wands coming through. So again, clarifying that, you know, it can also be too, is that for some of you, there may have been something within the home that is making you look towards the future, okay? Again, to look towards your own stability in some way towards the future coming through here. Let's clarify. Let's actually clarify. Let's clarify that three of wands. What are you, what are you, you know, focusing in on? Yeah, we've got the two of cups coming through. We have the emperor coming through. For some of you, this may have very well may have been a relationship, okay? This may have been a relationship, and again, take it as it's resonating, but there might have been some rock bottom within a relationship. Maybe you've even had to move homes, 
all right? Maybe you had to leave an environment, maybe somebody else did, but it feels like right now that you're in this place of rebuilding. I really get this energy of rebuilding, taking charge of yourself. For some of you, this might have been a dominant energy as well. Something you had to really place a lot of strength into, but you're doing it. And this is what I keep getting. It may have felt like rock bottom at that point, but I feel like it also really helped you to grow. It really helped you to, you know, build a new foundation. It's it's helping you in some way to release something that, you know, that brought you to that rock bottom to begin with, whatever this energy is. So let's take a look at that heal the ouch. Four of Pentacles coming through. We have the devil energy and we also have the nine of swords. Yeah, something something happened here. Um, there is this energy, you know, especially with that Four of Pentacles. It might be hard to release it, or it might, you might have had trouble releasing it. Um, you know, it was really bringing a lot of mental, physical, um, emotional negativity. You know, for some of you, it might it might have kept you up at night. It might have really stressed you out, especially with that Nine of Swords. But again, you know, the Nine of, Nine of Swords, when it comes through, all right, is us looking at a situation, sometimes more negatively than it is. Now, it's not minimizing in any way of what you went through, but it does talk about a way of coming back or a way of coming out of this or a way of, you know, trying to maybe perhaps taking another perspective at it. I, again, I, I, I really am getting this energy from the, from you guys. It's like you're breaking that chains that were holding you back. I do get this energy that something, you know, somebody might have been unfaithful. Somebody might have cheated. Again, somebody might have, like this, this devil coming through. I don't feel somebody was honest. I mean, this even could have to do, you know, for some, uh, this might have to do with addictions, right? That devil and especially that rock bottom, maybe you were dealing with somebody with addictions or maybe perhaps, you know, it was you yourself that was dealing with some sort of external substance in some way. Might have even been some sort of mental health issues, you know, uh, in regards to somebody else or even, again, even yourself. It kind of just feels like you hit that rock bottom. And now what's happening is you are rising above. You are moving forward. I feel like for some of you, you might have some choices to make, all right, especially with this lover's card coming through. You may have to make a decision about, you know, how do I move ahead? How do I move forward? But those are coming through. Those are coming through, even if you're not quite seeing them at this point. I feel like the, the decisions are going to be made for you. It could have even been somebody that you felt that relationship with, that closeness within a relationship, okay? And, and they just had this element of disappointment, okay? For some, again, that Seven of Cups coming in, this could have been like they had options or they felt that they had options or they felt like, you know, uh, I kind of get this impression or this feeling again for some that it's almost like your feelings didn't matter in some way. Like they really took advantage in, in some, in some form of your kindness, your generosity. You might've even offered them a home. All right. And again, you know, you're only going to be able to take that as it's resonating, but this is what I'm getting. We also have this rock bottom. So let's take a look at that. Knight of wands coming through the five of wands coming through or seven of wands coming through. Sorry. And we have the king of cups. Let's clarify that king of cups. Yeah, we've got the eight of swords. I feel like, especially with the fives, okay, we've got the five of wands, we've got the five of swords coming in. There's some clarity. Something happened here that brought you a vision of clarity. And here's the thing, Sagittarius, I do feel that for some of you, you may have been struggling for a while, okay? I don't feel like this was a situation that um, happened overnight. I mean, it could be for some, but it feels like you were struggling with some sort of decision. You may have been seeing signs of something. There may have been telltale, um, you know, conversations that things weren't, you know, flowing the way that they were supposed to go. Again, take it as it resonates with you. But what I'm getting here is like a lot of clarity came in and that clarity 
may have really kicked you in the arse. Just being straight up, okay? It might have really, really kicked you down because it was almost like that sun realization that things were what you might have been suspecting. For some of you, I mean, it could have been, it could have been sudden, but it kind of feels here that there have been telltale signs. Again, somebody trying to take advantage, okay? Somebody trying to take advantage possibly of your, um, your generosity, your, you know, compassion, right? We have the state of swords. You might've been holding yourself back, you know, or, or not really realizing how deep the energy of that situation was, or maybe again, making choices about taking, you know, taking a step away from something. But then something happened. That clarity came through. Let's let's uh, take a look at that Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles. I feel like somebody somebody wasn't in a place of this collaboration. It's almost like they didn't have an interest in it, or they were maybe possibly collaborating with somebody else. Okay, I do feel like there could have been a three party. We already had the the three of cups. We've had the three of pentacles coming through. I do feel like for some, this could have been an energy of a third party situation. Now, third party doesn't always have to be um, another person. It can be work. It can be, you know, something that is drawing somebody's attention away. All right. But I do feel this energy that they may have been taking advantage. They may have been taking advantage again of you, your kindness, generosity, compassion, love. And it just at some point hit rock bottom. Just hit rock bottom. A lot of clarity came out. A lot of revelations came to the surface. A lot of truth was revealed. So let's take a look at uh, relationships and see what's coming in. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, Sagittarius, is that you're healing now. Okay, now you're moving. You know, even though you hit that rock bottom, you're in this place now of opening towards a new energy. All right. You're doing the healing that is necessary. You may be, you know, still kind of stuck in that energy in some way, or you might be in that place of, you know, it's still lingering or it's still hurting. But I don't feel that for many of you, it's right on that uh, front burner. Okay. If you know what I mean, it's like, you're not sitting there in this place of this is your only focus. It's like you're, you're, he you're working on that, that healing. I do feel that for some of you, this may be, you know, still, yeah, staying within your energy a little bit. All right. You might be still focusing in on it a little bit, but it, it's not as devastating as it was. I kind of feel that for some of you, you're recognizing that this was a lesson that needed to happen, or this was a lesson that needed to, um, come through or there needed to be some sort of ending. And again, with that five of swords or that eight of swords that we had coming through, you might've even been holding yourself back you know, from walking away from a situation. It's like, maybe I want more clarity or maybe I need more truth within, you know, with, before I take that step forward. And that truth came through, All right? For some of you, you might have even been kicking yourself, like, why didn't I leave ahead of time? Like, I saw the signs. But here's the thing, you can't stand that energy, right? We only go with what, we, what it is that we know. But I do feel you're following your intuition now and I do feel you moving forward. So let's get some... Um, cards in regards to our relationships. All right. Relationships for our Sagittarius. Oops. What is going on with our Sagittarius's? We have the Wolverine coming through. We also have Island again, so low energy. Power struggles, assertiveness. You might have had to been assertive. You might have had to been assertive. I, I do feel that for some of you, you are in this place of really protecting your energy. Okay. Um, you know, and it, it does talk about those power struggles that we had with that five of swords, you know, energy coming through. All right. This can sometimes talk about power struggles. We have the rider. We have the mice. And we had the mice already, I believe. Yeah, we already had the mice. You know, I feel, Sagittarius, when we're looking at the energy of relationships, what I'm getting here is right now, 
right now, I feel that whatever this situation was, it really, again, brought you to that place of rock bottom. For some of you, it might be, you might be still struggling with the fatigue of this, this, you know, and when it talks about illness, you know, the stress, the anxiety, when we have a lot of stress, anxiety, a lot of worry, um, it can bring about, you know, that, um, that feeling of illness, like we just don't have the energy to move forward. We're just in this place of feeling, you know, depleted, right? But here's the thing, especially with this head of the pack, you're taking charge now. Now you're moving forward. There is some healing. And I really get this message for many of you that that healing is so necessary before jumping into something else and to, before jumping into something brand new or um, before maybe even pursuing all right, a new relationship. There's a lot of energy here that the healing needs to happen. I think I have the hiccups, so <laughs> I apologize if you hear me hiccup loudly. Um, but let's take a look at that Wolverine. Yeah, we've got this uh, Queen of Pentacles coming in. So the nurturing and the healing is definitely happening. All right. Um, moon. Again, you know, secrets coming through. You know, things. Uh, you might even be finding out some more information. You might even be finding out some more information. There might be more information that is coming towards you. And as you're doing that, you might be blocking off of it. Like you might be in that place of going, okay, I've had enough. I don't need to know every little thing. I know what I know. I've learned what I learned. Now I'm going to start the healing. I do feel that for some of you, some people might be bringing or trying to bring in more information to you, with, especially with that six of uh, pentacles coming in. All right, this can talk about an exchange of energy. You might not be in that place of receiving it. You might be in that place of just being blocked and going, look at, you know what, I, whatever, I don't want to hear anything else about it. It's almost like I've heard enough. I don't need my heart broken anymore. I don't need, you know, anything else at this point in time. I'm going to focus in on my own healing. And I do feel that you're, you are in that energy of, of, being there at this point so we have this island right and it does talk about solo and independent energy we've got this king of swords i feel like if somebody was to come forward at this point in time like a new energy you're not quite ready to receive it you you want to build a new foundation for yourself eventually okay you're in this place that you know you're not hanging on i what i'm getting sagittarius is you know when something negative happens you get some people that are like oh i'm all men suck or all women suck and you know blah 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 they focus they they take nine billion people and shove them into the energy of one person all right just because one person did you wrong right and and they they tried to take all of those people and they they shove everybody into one person and and i don't feel you doing that I feel you have hope for the future. You are in this place of wanting to build this new foundation. You are in this place of, you know, you're looking at things. Okay, maybe this needed to crumble for some reason. I always had, I already had the feeling that something was happening. I got the clarification. The clarity came through for it. Yes, I, I suffered a tragedy. Yes, I suffered heartbreak and loss in some way. But I'm not holding this against the world. Okay, even though there's individual energy, I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready, you know, to take that step forward, but I do need to do my healing. We also have messenger, right? Movement, travel. We also had this chariot coming through here, right? And I feel like it, it almost feels like, you know, you're, you're almost ready to put that green light onto the next step. Okay, but again, you know, you're also recognizing and understanding within your own personal energy that I also have to heal first. And again, I don't feel this energy of you, you know, making it you against the world or every, you know, masculine energy is negative or every feminine negative, you know, energy is negative. You're ready to move forward. Like, you know, you moved up the ladder. Okay. When I look at that King of Pentacles, you're doing the work that is necessary for you. And I do feel that it's healing something, okay? You're ready to leave that pain in the past is what I'm getting. Right now, you might be in that place, especially with that two of swords coming in, right? You might be in that place that you're not really, you're not being very receptive or re you're not ready to quite receive that new, that new yet. That's what I'm getting. Somebody might be trying to come through and you might be in that place of, hmm, 
you know, not yet. They might even have to prove themselves to you before you move forward. All right, let's take a look at that mice coming in. Yeah, look at this healing energy. A lot of healing energy with that four of swords, right? There's still some healing and you know it. You know that, you know that this has to happen. But I, I you know, again, I don't feel that you're um, focusing just on the negative. The healing is happening is what I'm, what I'm getting here. King of Wands. Yeah, and we have, you're, you're ready. You, you're, you're going to be okay. Like you're ready to start something new when it's, when it's time, but it's not quite time yet. And you, you're, you're understanding this. Okay. I don't feel that you, you know, had some sort of negative situation and then you, you know, ran and jumped on Tinder right away, or you weren't out at the bar, you know, <laughs> trying to meet new people or trying to start a new life. I just, I feel like this is self-focus here. For some of you, you might, have, you might be a little bit homebound too, all right? And it doesn't mean because of illness or sickness or anything like that. I mean homebound in the way of, I, you know, I feel I, I just want to isolate myself. I want to do my own healing. I just want to focus on my environment at this point in time. So we have that head of the pack and you're doing the right thing. This is what's coming through. You're absolutely, see, look at that contentment coming in, happiness coming in, ready for a new beginning, a new start, you know, when the healing has happened and you will know, this is what I really get. You're going to know when, when you're ready. It's not going to be on somebody else's timeline. It's not going to be on somebody else's, um, you know, push or whatever. You're, you're within yourself and you're knowing when that healing is happening, especially with the Six of Cups coming in. There may be, you know, um, you're going through things. You're going through memories. Maybe perhaps you're doing a lot of releasing. You might even be doing some meditating. You might, you know, be doing your own kind of therapy to some degree, okay? You're moving past that Seven of Swords energy, all right? And I do feel that for some of you, you know, again, mice. Okay. So I don't know if mice is, you know, this is the third time that mice have appeared. All right. But the mice can really talk about, you know, they're sneaky, right? And I feel like somebody might've been sneaky, but again, you're healing from this. I do feel the healing is happening. So, you know, you'll, you'll take that step forward when you're, you know, when you're ready to do so, you're going to listen to your own inner self. You're going to make those movements forward when you're ready. Let's get a message from Spirit and see what's coming through. Message from Spirit to close off this reading. All right, card coming through as we have the rabbit recognize your significance yeah you know it's interesting because i do feel that for some of you um this may have had to do with your um you know self-worth your self-esteem all right you may have been struggling with that because of whatever the situation was you know especially if there was a third party in some way you might have felt that you know you weren't worthy or whatever it was like you know having those illusions that were not um, ready or we're, we're not worthy of whatever it was but it does talk about recognize your significance because you are very very significant look at this can't make this up guys maintain your self-worth and your self-esteem because again this is exactly what spirit was trying to show you is that just because somebody was an ass right does not mean that you're you're placing all 9 billion people of the planet into this one person. You understand the fact that you are worthy of that relationship. You are worthy of that amazing job. You are worthy of whatever it is. And spirit really wants you to recognize your significance. So Sagittarius, I truly hope that this has helped. If this reading has resonated with you, please click like, please uh, subscribe to the channel as it really does help my channel to grow and it is very much appreciated. Thank you for watching. Many blessings.